my name is Ryan Lane and welcome to my review channel. So for today's movie, I will be reviewing No Hard Feelings, directed by Gene Stupnitsky and starring Jennifer Lawrence and Andrew Feldman. Anyway, this film tells the story of Maddie, played by Jennifer Lawrence. Maddie is an Uber driver with commitment issues who uh, is kind of overdue on her property taxes. And as a result of said overdue taxes, her car gets towed, which is in order to pay them off the debts, which is an extra big bummer because she needs said car in order to, well, you know, drive people around and get paid as an Uber driver. And at first, you know, things kind of seem uh, not very good for her, like her job at a uh, waterfront serving beverages to uh, rich jerks uh, just unfortunately will literally not pay the bills. Fortunately, she happens upon a wealthy couple that want her to <clears throat> date her uh, their very socially awkward son, Percy. And in return for <clears throat> dating uh, Percy, she will be uh, given a brand spanking new car. Well, okay, maybe not brand new, but in the words of the characters, a car that is made to last... And so, uh, while she uh, goes on her quest to date, i.e. have sex with him, if you had got what I was saying, uh, she will learn to uh, be more open and less afraid of commitment, while Percy will learn more to be more confident. So, the screenplay is a mixed bag. Uh, for every funny visual or verbal gag that it gives its performers, it also gives them some uh, duds as well. I mean, some gags start off hilarious, but are kind of beaten to death. I, you know, uh, Maddie's character in between cars, she has to use rollerblades to get around. And this is a pretty funny visual gag at first, but the film kind of just overplays it to the point where it's like, okay. And it kind of becomes a bit unrealistic. It's like, okay, she can take off her rollerblades now. It's like, would it be so bad for her to take like 10 seconds to do that? And then there are just some gags that aren't very funny to begin with. Like, for example, virtually 90% of all gags, you know, poking fun of Gen Z for being a bunch of overparented, phone-addicted kids. It's like, uh, again, a uh, side note, I'm not offended by the idea of poking fun of Gen Z. Lord knows I hate the fact that my generation decided to uh, shorten charisma to Riz. Really stupid, but... What I am offended by is unfunny jokes poking fun of Gen Z. Again, take, for example, Bodies, Bodies, Bodies. That film roasts the hell out of Generation Z, and I laughed my ass off during that movie. This movie? Eh, I don't know. The, the film's characterization of Gen Z is just too broad to be funny. Also, the screenplay introduces characters that in the very beginning that, you know, you think, oh, okay, this character is going to have a bit of a role to play in the proceedings. But then the film kind of just forgets about them for long stretches of runtime. And at one point, there's a reconciliation between two characters. And, you know, it's communicated as a big moment. Well, maybe not super big, but at least a moment. But there, there was barely any exploration of the relations between the two characters, and so it kind of feels a bit shallow. The screenplay also has a major issue with one key character, Percy. While the film characterizes him as a socially awkward uh, teenager, well, 19-year-old, but, you know, anyway, no, you know, details, it also characterizes him as uh, paranoid as hell. And it's that part of his character that makes it a bit hard to swallow that he would start dating a woman so quickly that, in his own words, uh, tried to kidnap him. Like, he goes from, you know, spraying, you know, Maddie with mace to, oh, you want, oh you're, you're actually interested in going on a date with me? Okay, all right. It's just, I don't know. I feel like could have used at least a scene before he decided... Okay, all right, you started off sketchy, but, you know, you're now being a little honest with me. All right, sure, I'll go on a date with you. I don't know, it's just... Uh. 
performance side, uh, the performances are all around, I'd say, decent. I mean, Jennifer Lawrence definitely steals the show. The the role she, as Maddie she's given demands a lot of her physically, and she is more than up to the task in more ways than one. Plus, she's given a lot of... Uh, I mean, not a ton of funny lines, like I said, hit or miss on the humor, but the funny lines she is given are, she manages to make them work really well. Uh, plus, she does a great job of integrating the uh, emotional ma manipulation or rather smooth talker side of her character alongside the emotional vulnerability portion of her character into one cohesive whole. I uh, she did that really well. It never felt like I was watching two separate characters. Andrew Feldman, he does all right. Again, like I said, uh, I, I think it's more the screenplay that lets him down. But otherwise, I think he does well. He does an all right job tr going from, you know, awkward as hell teenager who won't leave his room to so confident he'll drive uh, recklessly and drink alcohol. It, it, it's again, it's not a brilliant uh, performance or character arc, but he handles it well enough. The supporting cast is, again, like I said, decent. You know, again, their lines oscillate, you know, between pretty solidly funny and not so funny. It's, again, like I said, a lot of uh, Maddie's friends' jokes revolve around poking fun of Gen Z, haha, and uh, having some funny lines. Like at one point, uh, she uh, is talking with her lawyer who's a Native American, and you know she kind of goes, it's like, these jerks, they're forcing me out of my home. And she was like, do you know what that's like? She's like, oh yeah, you do know what that's like. <laughs> that was pretty funny. <laughs> so though Jennifer Lawrence is more than game for the raunchy proceedings, no hard feelings lets her down with a hit or miss screenplay. So, with all that in mind, I will be giving No Hard Feelings two and a half out of five stars. Anyway, thank you for watching. Have a good rest of your day. If you like this review and would like to see more like it, be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. And for today's comment section prompt of the day, what is your favorite movie with Jennifer Lawrence and why?